What's going on guys? Tony from Taft Place here and we are back on the sweet survival survival Minecraft survival surviving server where we survive and we do things but guys we we're over here at the Taft Kano and in the last episode we worked on the first room and hallway of our minecart system and it turned out awesome and today we are going to be working on the second part where we left off last time with the amethyst and the geode. So guys, before we get started, make sure you hit that like button if you like these kind of videos, these big projects, and all this other fun stuff on the survival series. And um, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button and bell notification icon so you can be notified when we come out with future videos. And if you are new to the channel, welcome. We're glad to have you here. And if you decide to subscribe, welcome to the family. You are awesome. So we are going to get right on into this thing. As y'all know, we left off at the end of the... Uh, at the end of the dripstone area, which is uh, it turned out pretty fun, and we've uh, we've been making some adjustments. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and look at where we're gonna get started, and uh, we're gonna go from there. We are coming down into where we ended off on the last episode and the starting point of this episode. So we're coming down here into the geode area. And this is the area that we're gonna be starting and working on today. We have this big rectangular hole in the ground and we need to turn this thing into a giant geode. And then we need to paint all these walls purple. So that is what we are about to get started on right now. So this is the design that we're kind of looking at right now to see, uh, you know, we're gonna cover all of this up with the uh, amethyst over here. We're gonna replace each and every single block in here with amethyst so we can kind of get that nice little circular geode uh, shape to it. But um, there is a slight issue with this and um, I, I grossly miscalculated where the height of this thing is gonna end up and I have kind of just dug right into the mine track on accident and I gotta, I've gotta reroute this entire thing to make this build fit in here like that oh that's not good that's not good um see this is why tony you should always build in creative first so this doesn't happen <sighs> okay um back to the drawing board and uh we will see what we come up with in just a few minutes ouch all right, so now we got everything evened out. We got it all situated up here, up top. We had to add a bump in the main, or in the first geo to slow the cart down because we had to boost up the track on this section right here, which um, it actually ends up looking pretty cool uh, when you're looking at the whole thing because it kind of gives the cave a, a whole elevation change aspect to it. So I kind of like how it ended up turning out. And then going back down into the first geode, we had to slow it down because it was an extra bump. So we give it just a little bit of a slow down here and then we'll push the cart through into the big geode right here. And uh, we got the design finally on the walls. And now all we have to do is just kind of, uh, we got to equalize on the walls. You can see where I've already started replacing some of the stone with the, uh, the amethyst over here. It all matches up block for block. And then, um, except this part right here so I can get out. But um, now all I have to do is just finish off the floor, make the floor a little bit deeper, and then mirror this pattern up on the ceiling if we have space. If we don't have the space, that's totally fine. We'll come up, we'll come out with something different. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just finish off this, uh, at least part of this geode, and then we'll check back in in just a second to see where we're at. All right, so we started laying down some amethyst over here and we got the wall looking decent. I decided to keep the ceiling relatively uh, flat so we can go ahead and add the ornamentation to it just to make it look pretty good. But um, we, we worked on this wall right here, the exit wall, and um, we got the, we, the ceiling is gonna be kind of lopsided because I, I, I'm, I might dig this in a little bit just because all of this right here is the upper mine track. But the rest of the room is actually looking pretty cool. I'm really starting to like how this room is starting to look. And then once we get the ornamentation in it and we get the rest of the amethyst put up, I think this room is going to look pretty awesome. So I think it's about time to finish just laying down the amethyst in this room. And then we'll come back and put the ornamentation up and see how that's going to look. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep going on that one. Okay, it is now coming up on a little past 10 o'clock at night and I... I finally got the overlay of the room down. Wow, this 
thing has been a beast to get fixed up, man. I have had to route and reroute and reroute again the track up in that area to make sure that we could get all the amethyst in here correctly. And now I can finally get rid of those last two pieces and the first geode or the second technical geode is complete other than the uh, the basic i probably shouldn't have broken that because i got to go down there and decorate anyways so we're gonna go ahead and give this thing a shot all the way until the beginning of this hallway and we're gonna make sure that the track actually works because like i said i had to go through and do so many look at this there's there's now a drop right here to keep the speed to a, an acceptable amount because the speed was going way too fast and then it was going too slow and then it wasn't making it at all. It, oh my God, it has been a process, man. And let me tell you, I, 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 I sent Jen a message saying, I want to pull my hair out, all right? It is this thing, it, oh my God, this has been rough. So we're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna jump in and see if the minecart track will actually make it at least until the drop. I know once it makes the drop, it should be fine. So we got the overgrown dripstone cave now looking good we got the dripstone hallway looking good so we're going through we got time to look around we're gonna hit the speed rail boom going fast as crap oh no don't hit the stuff and then we're gonna kind of go around here and we're gonna drop and we're gonna go nice creepy slow pick up some speed into the geode boom look at this place it looks fantastic and then hopefully we can make it to the end it should be going slow here so that's good all right, we're going down. We hit the power rails. We pick up speed and we drop. Okay, there was a giant slime right there. I did not know that was a slime chunk. So I found a slime chunk, guys. <laughs> so, all right. So the minecart track makes it. That's perfect. Now I can get to doing the last little bit of decorations. And now uh, we should be good with that part of the track. All right, so we have our four sizes of amethyst buds and crystals and clusters and fun stuff that we're going to use whenever we come down here and decorate this piece to kind of make it look a little bit like this. Just make it look nice. All right. So, of course, the bigger ones we're going to want to put further away, like up here. This is where we're going to want the bigger ones. So we go through and it's almost like having little chandeliers kind of popping through, you know. Like, oh man, this looks really pretty. This could be in a ballroom, right? So we're gonna kind of pop these just around the furthest areas away from the track, just because they'll stand out more than if we put something small, very, very close to it. And of course we want to keep some on the bottom as well, just because, I mean, it is a geode, you know, there, there's these things pop out of freaking everywhere. So we want to make sure that we could capture that and we want to put a decent amount of them as well just to keep this thing as decorated as possible make it look shiny make it look pretty make it look cute whatever you want to say to make it and then we should pop some on the track too i don't think anyone's ever going to see them but you know just doing our due diligence just trying to keep it looking good all right so now that we got the big ones i mean this place is already looking so much better already pop some on the wall and now we're going to go ahead and move to the mediums that will kind of start peppering a little bit cl on the closer areas to the track just because the medium ones are going to look bigger the closer they are. And then we're going to move over to the smaller ones. We could kind of come up here. Just start peppering the walls with these guys like this. I don't have as many of the uh, the smaller mediums as I did um, the, the big ones. So we might have to rely on those a little bit more than expected. But you know, we got to do what we can do. Let's kind of let's jump back up here and uh, throw some on the, uh, the back wall over here. So we're going to go ahead and pop these guys back in place just for now. And uh, we're going to get some of these medium guys and uh, we're going to pop them, you know, just kind of around the area just to kind of keep something going. We're going to, of course, pop a big one there and there. And then we're going to get some of these little micro guys just hanging up in these areas just like that. Kind of get some on the back wall, too, because, you know, people are going to want to turn around and look around. That's at least the uh, the idea behind it. We need some up top. Kind of kind of like that. <laughs> Maybe a little bit higher up on the wall, like up there. And I don't want them too symmetric. There we go. Kind of pop them out. Just making this whole thing look like this thing is just growing insane crystals all the time. Because this thing has been exposed for years. That's that's the, the look we're going for, you know. This thing has been underground, undiscovered for years. 
and we just decided to pop a minecart trail right through the middle of it and it looks awesome okay so we need i think we need a little bit more right on this side over here pop one up there and there one right over here back wall and then coming on over to this side we need more facing there we go kind of facing the track area like this right oh we got one there already okay right there right there there and there and why not put one right there yeah let's just kind of scatter scatter these things everywhere boom okay so now that we have effectively run out of crystals completely now we could get rid of these two and this room should be decorated so let's look back for one final reveal we're coming through here and then boom oh you can see them on the side of the track that is awesome looking all right looking good from that angle looking cool looking cool looks a little bland down there but we got those little buds down there doing the trick you're going backwards you're looking up and that place looks awesome all right heck yeah so we are now down the uh, big geode the small geode going into this hallway which we're just going to kind of off camera throw some decorations in here maybe kind of make it look a little bit bigger nothing too special i mean honestly i'm probably just going to end up lining it like this all the way through until we get all the way down to the drop and once i do that we're going to give it one test run to make sure it looks and feels right and then um yeah that should be the end of it so let me go ahead and do that and we are going to jump in the minecart all right we got our minecart in place and we are about to give this thing our test run to end this thing off so here we go running through the entire course just like this we made those adjustments to the track we had to make a couple more but we are still good to go or at least should be so here we go we're gonna ride it through we're gonna not hit anything this time we're gonna go through we're gonna drop down just like that kind of creep through going into the first geode going into the second geode right here looking beautiful going into amethyst hall just kind of creeping through kind of getting the cutting the pace a little bit going through the little tunnel down here we're gonna hit that speed and boom into the drop all the way down underground so there we go guys that is going to end it for today's video guys if you liked it if you liked how the amethyst and the geo turned out make sure to give the video a big fat like and if you haven't already make sure to smash that subscribe button and bell notification icon so you can be notified when we come out with future videos and the next part of this minecart mega project series that we got going over here on sweet survival and if guys and guys if you want to give this track a shot then definitely feel free to come and play with us over here on sweet survival the ip is in the description below but guys thank y'all so much for watching don't forget to keep on playing and we will see you in the next video peace we're going down too much that's a huge slime